Are you looking for some books to read to up your machine learning game or to just learn machine learning in the first place? Keep watching because I'm about to tell you five of my personal favorites. I'm Richard and this is Richard on Data. So all the books that I'm going to go through here are really going to help you become knowledgeable in machine learning. But just keep in mind with machine learning, just like any other aspect of data science, it really does require some real practical experience before you become a true expert at it. But these books will provide you some much needed intuition, they're going to give you tools to attack problems, and oftentimes they're going to give you some chunks of code which might even help you implement things pretty quickly. Now, I'm mostly targeting people here who are beginner to intermediate level at machine learning because I think that's the general level that most people subscribed to my channel are at. Now, that's not to say that getting a refresher from these books won't be helpful to you if you consider yourself more advanced, maybe you've been doing ML for seven to eight or more years. No, I think these books will benefit you too. But I think lots of people who are in their early stages of machine learning just want a couple books that they can really sink their teeth into. And most of these books are pretty comprehensive, so you don't have to go and read every single one of them. But having said that, generally the more you read, the more you're going to learn. Now before I unveil these five awesome books, I have to do my usual spiel where I ask you to, number one, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also take half a second and smash the like button, because that really does help my content reach a larger audience. Also in the description of this video, I will have a link to my Patreon account, so if you guys would be willing to support me over there, it would mean the world to me. Also, as one important disclaimer, I am going to have Amazon links in the description to every single one of these books. And if you click on that link and purchase one of these books, I do receive a small commission from that. Having said that though, several of these books are freely available online, or at the very least, they have code chunks that are available on GitHub. So wherever possible, I will provide those links as well so you can get as much as you can out of these books without having to pay a dime. Now without further ado, let's get into these five books and then at the end, I'm gonna have one honorable mention. The first book is the 100-page machine learning book by Andrei Burkov. And at the time I'm recording this video anyway, it's distributed on the read first, buy later principle. So naturally the link to that will be in the description. So the name of this particular book is a little bit misleading because it's actually somewhere around 160 pages. But that doesn't change the fact that it is a super quick read, easily the shortest one on this list. And naturally, with a much shorter book, it doesn't really have the room to be the most thorough or comprehensive one on the planet, but I do think that for beginners and newcomers, there's tons of value. This book is structured to provide an overview of the most important topics in the machine learning ecosystem. And I really do think for a lot of people, there's value in knowing what you need to know, because data science is so big and it oftentimes really suffers from a lack of structure, knowing what you need to know is valuable in and of itself. And the writing on this book is outstanding. Like if I had to describe it in one word, it's punchy. It's very easy to read. It'll cover a concept and spend enough time on it, but not too much. And then it'll segue very seamlessly into the next concept, which is generally directly related or similar. And at a bare minimum, this one is great to keep around as a reference. Maybe you're doing some work, you need a quick shot reminder of what bagging and boosting are exactly. Well, it's really easy to pick up this book and get really solid definitions of those things in a couple minutes flat. And this isn't a coding book per se, but there are Python snippets all throughout it. That code is all on GitHub. The second book on this list should come as no surprise to anyone who has even a little experience with ML because it's nothing short of classic. And that's An Introduction to Statistical Learning with Applications in R by Gareth James and others. So this one is actually of personal significance to me because it was actually one of two textbooks that was used in one of my major graduate level courses on machine learning and multivariate analysis and all that good stuff. 
And this book is actually related to another book, which is Elements of Statistical Learning. Now, broadly speaking, these books do cover the exact same topics, but Elements of Statistical Learning is a little bit more in-depth, and it's more geared towards people with stronger mathematical backgrounds. An introduction to statistical learning is a bit more geared towards people without much mathematical background, it's shorter, and the focus of it is on application. This one is over 400 pages though, so as an introductory text, it's certainly a lot longer than the last one. But it does cover a very comprehensive set of topics. You get your feet wet with linear regression, then it moves on to logistic regression and discriminant analysis, then you start getting into things like resampling methods, model selection, and regularization. Eventually it gets into tree-based methods and support vector machines, and then it closes everything off with a chapter on unsupervised learning, most notably with principal component analysis and k-means clustering. No neural networks in this book though, you've got to go to the elements of statistical learning for that one. And this book is chock full of extremely useful R code. That's also on GitHub too, but overall this book, it's well written, it's thorough, and it's a must read for people getting into machine learning. Third book for this list is another book based in R, and that's Applied Predictive Modeling by Max Kuhn. So for this one, I have to give a little bit of background. So Max Kuhn is actually a software engineer at R Studio, and he's the creator of the package Carrot, as well as the Tidy Model set of packages. Now the difference between these two is completely the subject for a different video, and my guess is that in the long run, things will start to go the way of Tidy Models, but at the time I'm recording this video, which is October 2020, Carrot is on version 6.0, and Tidy Models is on version 0.1. It's important to point all this out because this book does rely quite heavily on the carrot package. What I love so much about this particular book, from the standpoint of practicality and applications, it's going to take you a lot further than something straightforward like spinning up a random forest model and then measuring the performance. He dedicates a full chapter to talking about how you measure predictor importance. There's another chapter on all the different strategies out there for dealing with class imbalance, and there's even a chapter on all the practical problems with your data that could cause model performance to suffer. Then he has a chapter on feature selection, which he later would expand upon and turn into its own standalone book. It's not only that, but he does a terrific job explaining on an algorithm by algorithm basis the types of data structures that are gonna cause that algorithm to fare well or poorly. Overall, amazing book, and even if you're more of a Python guy than an R guy, and maybe you're not planning to go through all the code as he steps through it, you're going to learn something if you go through this book. Fourth book is yet another classic, and that's Hands-On Machine Learning with Scikit-Learn, Keras, and TensorFlow by Aurelien Garon. Some of you may be familiar with an older version of this book, but that was before it was updated with Keras. Plus, since then, there's been a whole new chapter added on unsupervised learning, and a few chapters completely rewritten. Now, take a topic like support vector machines. Well, this is another book that is going to have a very heavy emphasis on practicality, rather than the theoretical side of things. And I love it, because as early as chapter 2, this book gets you set up with Jupyter Notebooks and Scikit-Learn, and guides you through a full beginning-to-end machine learning project. And I'm not talking something super basic where it's like two lines of code. I'm talking data transformation, one-hot encoding, feature scaling, tons of really good stuff. And all of that within the second chapter of the book. Now I do have to say, this one is a little bit more advanced as a Python book than applied predictive modeling is as an R book. And that should really come as no surprise considering the second part of this book is all about TensorFlow and Keras. All that to say, we are getting to an intermediate level here, where you need to have some working knowledge of Python, or you are definitely going to hit some stumbling blocks with this book. So the first half of this book is all focused on the scikit-learn stuff, whereas the second part of the book is where you get into the deep learning stuff with applications in TensorFlow and Keras. And I have to say, if you're like most people, you want to have a high-level, conceptual understanding of deep learning where you could explain it to a stakeholder in the simplest possible terms. And if that's the case, this book is for you. 
You're not going to get into some deep theoretical understanding of convolutional neural network architecture or these other concepts. But you are going to get the high level and you're going to learn how to write the code using the Keras package so you're able to implement these things. And this one will take most people a little while to go through and read and work through most of the code. But I promise you it's going to be worth it. Then the last book for this list is Approaching Almost Any Machine Learning Problem by Abhishek Thakur. This is another Python book. It stands at just under 300 pages. And it's one that I've had the very recent pleasure of reading myself. For that, I have to give a shout out to my friend and fellow content creator, Ken G. Now this one, as you might expect from the title, is hyper-focused on application and how to approach problems. Now as far as complexity and the skill level required is concerned, I'd say it's roughly tied with hands-on machine learning. That is to say, I would not go into this as my first ever book on Python. Nah, I would go into it with a little bit more experience than that. But here's the beauty of this book. Of all the books that I've talked about so far in this video, this one is by far and away the one that the highest percentage of it is pure Python code. And it is structured a little bit differently from the others. With most of the others, typically they're divided into chapters where each chapter covers a new method or technique. But this one is almost structured around issues and problems. Now don't get me wrong, there is some overlap, like for instance there's one chapter that's all about NLP and text classification and regression. But you go from one chapter on categorical variables and encoding, to another chapter on feature engineering, to another chapter on feature selection. And just without fail, the emphasis of this book is on approaching problems from beginning to end. It's written in a very engaging way, it's designed to prep you for the curtails of real-world data, and it's for that reason this book is possibly my favorite in this whole set of books. Alright, now as promised, we've gone through the top five, and I have one honorable mention to bring up, and those of you with more experience with machine learning may be a little bit surprised that this one didn't make the list, and that's Deep Learning by Ian Goodfellow. This is a really well-known one. And it's good enough for Elon Musk. So this book is actually divided into three distinct parts. And the first part is your standard overview of your linear algebra, statistics, calculus, gradient descent, you know, the basics. The second part is the real meat and potatoes, and it's all about coverage of modern deep learning techniques. Now to be fair, it does touch on other topics, but the emphasis is on the methodology behind deep learning techniques. Then the third part is an even more advanced coverage of the research surrounding deep learning, with a particular focus on what the future holds for deep learning, as well as semi-supervised and unsupervised learning. Now I do have to be honest with this book. It is incredibly thorough, like it does cover deep learning from beginning to end, but it's extremely dense. And even if you're somebody with a strong mathematical background, this one can be seriously challenging to read. You'll probably get a lot out of this book if you're more advanced in the subject, but honestly, as a person who's neither the best nor the worst in the world at math, but does have a master's degree in stats, a lot of this one really does go over my head. So that's just a buyer beware. You can really get a lot out of this book, but you need to be ready for it. So that's my top five ML books for you. And now, I get it. Most people aren't going to be able to read every single one of these because a lot of people, they're busy and they really only have time to dedicate to a book every three months or so on the side as far as advancing their data science skills are concerned. But I really do think with any of these five books, you're going to have a lot of new tools at your disposal for attacking machine learning problems as they come your way and they're ultimately going to pay enormous dividends for you. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please smash the like button. And then also let me know in the comments down below what your favorite machine learning book is. Then I'll see you all in the not so distant future. Until then, Richard on data.